everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a video request from the lovely subscriber Vanessa Timbreza who requested that I make a DIY makeup brush holder. So if you want to see how I made this rotating full marble top DIY makeup brush holder, go ahead and keep on watching the video. So I'm going to be starting off with these trays that I got at the Dollar Tree. They're cake trays. They're really pretty. They have a really nice design on the edge there and like a little scallop bottom. And I'm going to be using two of those. I'm also going to be using two cake pans from the Dollar Tree and a bag of marbles to create the rotation. My Dollar Tree does not carry Lazy Susan, so this is what I end up using. I'm also going to use some of these cups. They have a really pretty floral design on them. They come in a pack of five. I'm going to use seven bags of the acrylic gems, but you could also use a Dollar Tree sand. I'm going to use one of these little fruit bowls from the Dollar Tree. They also come in a pack of five matching the cups, some diamond wrap, and everything else I'm listing on the screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is to glue the cake trays together facing opposite direction. And I'm going to be adding some hot glue to the scalloped edge at the bottom. I am using a high temperature glue gun, so that gives me enough time to glue the entire um, circumference and glue the two trays together. And I just make sure that the scallop ends were meeting at the grooves so that they would have a nice point of contact. Next, I'm going to be using this beautiful marble contact paper that I got on Amazon. It is really nice quality. I will link it down below. And once I cut off a piece of that that was big enough for the project, I went ahead and traced the top of the cake tray onto the back. It turns out the cake tray and the, um, not cake tray, the cake pan and the cake tray have the exact same size on the surface, so this worked out great. So once I had my circle trace, I went ahead and cut that up. And I lined it up onto the clear cake trays and started attaching it to the surface. Um, I didn't pull the back of this paper off completely. I just pulled a little bit off and then started attaching it, making sure that I worked out the bubbles to make it as smooth as possible. I lined it up the best I could. This is repositionable. Uh, to a certain extent, the glue to the um, paper is really strong. So you want to make sure you line it up the best way you can so that you don't have to reposition it. Once I had it positioned the way I wanted, I went ahead and pulled the rest of the backing off. And I started smoothing out all of the bubbles. I was able to do this by just using my fingers. As you can see, it comes out pretty nicely. And once I did that, I turned it over and I started working on my Lazy Susan portion. So there's gonna be an inner cake pan portion and an outer cake pan portion. The inner one is gonna be glued directly onto the clear cake trays. And then the outer one is what's gonna be visible. So since that's gonna be seen, I'm gonna be adding some diamond wrap to the outside portion of it, just to kinda give it a nicer look. Um, you could also spray paint this or decorate it a different way, even use some of the marble contact paper. Now because of the shape of the cake tray, you are going to end up with some gaps. So all I did was add some glue to the gaps and I was blowing on it while I was doing this so that it wouldn't be too hot and I just pressed it down with my fingers. So that way you end up with a much smoother um, finish. And if you see any additional bubbles, just do the same thing, add a little bit of glue and press it down. Next, I started working on the inner cake tray and all I did was add some glue to the rim and glue it directly onto the back of the clear cake trays. Oh my gosh, I keep <laughs> saying cake tray and cake pan and cake pan and cake tray when I should, I don't know. <laughs> so for the cake pan, I added some marbles to the bottom one and then I sat the entire unit on top and I ended up with a beautifully spinning, rotating unit. It was great. So after that, the next step was to start working on the um, 
the rim of where the two trays met together. I just wanted to give it a better finish, so I added strips of the marble contact paper all along. I didn't use one continuous strip, so I ended up with seams. And in order to hide the seams, all I did was cut up some strips of the diamond wrap, and they were three, uh, three diamond pieces wide and five long. And I cut some strips of that and I added it where all the seams were meeting. So once I had those added on, this is what they look like. And I had about four seams to hide. And this is what it looks like right there. And then I started adding my cups to the tray. And that was pretty easy to do. All I did was glue the rim of the cups and I glued them directly onto the tray, the marble um, area. And if you're gonna be using less cups, like fewer cups than what I'm using, I'm using six cups. If you're gonna use fewer cups than six, I suggest that you pay attention to the spacing of the cups so that everything is even. Once I had everything glued on, it was time to add the little bowl to the middle portion of the cake stand so that I can um, have one cup that's higher than all the others at, at the center. So I just glued the rim of that little bowl, added it to the center, and then I glued on my cup to the back of that bowl. And finally, when all the cups were in, I added my diamond gems, my acrylic gems from the Dollar Tree. And this is the final result. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think it's really cute. I don't have any fancy makeup brushes, but it's okay. I'm not a beauty guru. I just think that it works really well for what I'm using it for. And if you had nice brushes, it'll look even better. I added some little acrylic diamond um, pieces to kind of give it a little bit more bling. And yeah, that's it, you guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't follow me on social media, please do. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. God bless. Bye-bye.